Once again, please read Lord Salawat. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad. The town you are, this town's name is Musayyib. And this shrine is shrine of two sons of Muslim Ben Aqib. All together, as a Muslim, he gave six of his sons with Imam Hussain al -Salam, and they were killed. But two are buried here. Two are also buried in Karbala. Their names, Ibrahim and Muhammad. So one was 10 years old, one was 8 years old. Uh, how they came here, uh, there are different narrations. One is, they were with in Karbala with Imam Hussain salam, with mother and on the night Shabe Shame Gariba, the eleventh night, when tents were burned and kids and ladies were attacked, so these kids they left them and they came up to here. One is this story. The other one is Hadrat Muslim Ben Aqil. He was ambassador. He was cousin of Imam Hussain Islam. He was a learned scholar as well. He was a very brave person. Imam Hussain Islam chose him as his ambassador. The reason people of Kufa, almost 14,000 people, they wrote letter to Imam Hussain Islam when Yazid became caliph. So people of Kufa, they were not happy to accept Yazid as caliph and they want to get rid of rule of Yazid. So that's why they requested Imam Hussain Salam to come into Kufa and they will do allegiance on his hand. So Imam Hussain Salam left Medina and few months he stayed in Makkah. While Imam Hussain Salam was staying in Makkah, he sent Hazrat Muslim bin Akhil in Kufa. So people of Kufa, they welcome him and more than 80,000 people, they done bayat, they done allegiance on, the, on, the, on his hand in the name of Imam Hussain salam. But as the conditions changed and the people of Kufa who were linked with Yazid government, so they wrote him and they asked a point uh, and other governor. Then Yazid appointed Ubaidullah ibn Ziyad as governor of Kufa. He was already governor of Basra and when Imam Ali salam, because he was his capital was Kufa, in 40 Hijrah he was killed and then for six months Imam Hassan salam was caliph but ultimately Imam Hassan uh, signed a treaty with Mawiyah and conditions of that treaty was he is not allowed to appoint any new caliph after him but he appointed Yazid in his life. Uh, one condition was he will not kill or attack Imam Hassan and Hussein. He poisoned Imam Hassan and Imam Hassan al -Salam was killed in Medina. Other Condition was he will not kill the followers of Ali ibn Abi Talib salam. And when Mawiyah came after that treaty in Kufa, he torn that paper that was signed by Imam Hassan and Mawiyah. He said, I am not concerned with your religion. My aim was to get government. I caught that. And he torn that paper in front of the people in Masjid al Kufa. After that, he appointed Ziyad. One is Ubaidullah's son, Ubaidullah ibn Ziyad. And ibn Ziyad, usually Mawiya, was calling him his brother. But people don't know who was the father of Ziyad. So Mawiya usually used to say that he is son of Abu Sufyan. So, Ziyad became governor of Kufa for 20 years. From 40 to 60 Hijrah, he was over there and 
He killed thousands of lovers of Imam Ali alayhi over there. Hadrat Abdul Muttalib is the grandfather of Rasulullah. And he, when he was dying, he got promise from Hadrat Abu Talib to take care of Hadrat Muhammad. And Hadrat Abu Talib alayhi salam, he took care of Rasulullah and he was guardian of Rasulullah, protector of Rasulullah until he was alive, Rasulullah was safe. And same year, Hadrat Khadija al Khubra Salamullah and Hadrat Abu Talib salam, they died. And Rasulullah named that year Amul Hosn, the year of sadness, the year of gham, year of mourning. In Karbala, people of Makkah, people of Medina, rest of the Islamic world, they did not join Imam Hussain alayhi salam. 22 shuhada of Karbala, they are children of Hadrat Abu Talib alayhi salam. Abu Talib who founded Islam, who protected Rasulullah, he trained his next generations. He inculcated the love of Rasulullah and Islam and Quran in his children and family members. So from Banu Hashim and Quraysh, only 22 people who were with Imam Hussain Islam and they were killed in Shiva Karbala, all were children of Hadrat Abu Talib Islam. Now you can understand some of the Muslim, they say Abu Talib Nawabillah was not Muslim. Reason? Because their animosity and great grudges with Abu Talib. He was the founder, he was the supporter, he was the helper. He gave blood, he gave lives, he gave wealth, everything he spent for Islam. He protected Islam. So, Muslim bin Aqil. Aqil is brother of Imam Ali. The own was grandson of Ja'far. Ja'far is brother of Ali, son of Abu Talib. Aqil is son of Abu Talib. Ali is son of Abu Talib. So directly his sons, his grandsons, grandchildren, they offered their lives. So Aqil's son is Muslim, and Muslim is son-in-law of Imam Ali salam, and cousin of Imam Hussain salam. And these two, Ibrahim and Muhammad, they are sons of Hadrat Muslim. The other narration is they came with father when Muslim came in Kufa. And when he was assassinated, you have seen Masjid al Kufa, where his shrine is. So before his shahadat, he handed over to Qazi Shuray and he requested make some arrangement to send them into Medina. But when he told these kids to go, then they were somehow, there are again different narrations, but ultimately they were, they went under the control of Haris. And Haris, governor was at that time Ubaidullah, he announced anyone who will bring these sons, I will give a lot of wealth. So he was finding. And somehow his wife and his female slave, so they brought these sons in their house. And one night these children were in the house of Haris. But at night these kids were sleeping. They saw in their dream Hadrat Ali ibn Abi Talib salam. So they waked up and they start crying. And when they were crying, Haris also got attentive and he came. So there was no light in the room. Where these kids were crying, he went and hold with his hand their hairs. And then whole night he tied up with minaret. And all night these kids, so they were standing and they were tied with the rope, with the minaret of that house. Next day, he took these kids on the river. You have passed this river, just half a mile away that river you fit that is there. On the bank of river, 
He asked, I am going to kill you. Do you have any wish? They said, if possible, free us so that we should be able to join our uncle Imam Hussain Allah Salaam. He said, it's impossible, I can't. Then they said, okay, Ubaidullah has announced, so take us to Ubaidullah ibn Ziyad. He said, no, I can't. Then they said, okay, if you're going to kill us, let us pray namaz. So both they got ready. You know their age. One is eight year old, other is ten years old. These kids, these kids, they were not in their town. They were not with their family. They knew they are going to die. But they taught us worshiping to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is important. They know they are going to die, but still they want to do sajda to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And Haris accepted this request. Both of them, they offered the prayer. And after that, both were ready. He said, who is ready to go first so that I should slaughter him? So Young was saying, slaughter me first. The elder was saying, slaughter me first. And then he cut the neck of youngest one. And he put the dead body into the water and he kept head with himself. But that dead body did not move with the direction and movement of water. When he cut the neck of other and put the dead body into the water, then both dead bodies move together and the head of both. When he took to the Ubaidullah ibn Ziyad, he saw the faces of these beautiful kids. <laughs> Their hairs were broken, full of dust. Their cheeks were red and blood was flowing. He asked Haris, why their hairs are broken? He said, they were requesting, they were begging to me, do not pull us on the ground. Do not take us to slaughter us. But I was not listening. He said, why their cheeks are red? He said, when they were begging, I was slapping them. He said, why did you kill? He said, I was worried if I took alive to you, so lover of Ahlul Bayt, they could come and they could took these boys from me and in this way, in that way, I would be able to be deprived of that prize money. So this is mazlumiyat and oppression done by different people throughout the history, but these kids are alive today. People around the globe, they are coming and visiting and saluting them. But those who have killed, they are in hellfire. Nobody knows where their graves are. And everybody is cursing. So this is lesson for us, how to follow the path of Abu Talib salam, the path of Imam Hussain salam. And these are role models for our teenagers, how to obey the Imam of the time, and the teachings of Islam and worshipping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So now we are going to read ziyarat and inshallah you will go inside and then you will read two rakat namal hadiyya ziyarat hadrat Ibrahim and other two rakat hadiyya ziyarat hadrat Muhammad qurbatani Allah.